I look at uh, the effects of low blood glucose on the electrical activity in the brain. In relation to this, I look at these bridges called gap junctions in the brain which connect uh, brain cells called neurons and I look at how low blood glucose affects the activity that goes through them because they are very pertinent in the study of seizures. Most uh, people who work in diabetes are not neuroscientists and uh, neuroscientists don't think much about diabetes so we're trying to bridge a gap that is there in terms of our understanding of an important uh, basic mechanism of seizures and also something very important for patient care. Hypoglycemic seizures are relatively common in juvenile diabetics, people on insulin, as a serious side effect. And uh, hypoglycemic seizures per se might even be a cause of death in unattended people in bed at night. One of the organs that's the most susceptible to this decrease in, glu in glucose levels is the brain because it uses so much energy on a regular basis. So I'm interested in looking at how this low glucose affects the activity in the brain. If you block gap junctions, which are these bridges that connect uh, neurons together, you can stop the electrical activity like seizures. You can stop neurological defects from happening in that way. Well, this is obviously very exciting for me because no one has looked at it in this specific context before. Of course, they've answered this question in relation to ischemia and stroke, but me and maybe a couple of other people in the lab are the only ones who are actually directly looking at this question. So it's so exciting to know that I'm finding things that no one has ever found before.